Hello, this is Daedalus with Nerds and Stuff, and today I'll be showing you how to take this boring old base and turn it into this. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is cover up that slot. Uh, since we'll be building a base up, we aren't going to need a slotted position. You know, that means we'll have to pin a miniature on or just glue it, but that's okay, because the base will end up looking a lot better. So I'm just doing that with a piece of masking tape and then trimming it up. Next, we're going to want to take some Elmer's glue, or PVA glue, or white glue, or school glue, or, you know, whatever kind of glue you want to use, and I'm just kind of brushing it on with an old brush. This is not a nice brush, this is a really cheap one, and I just want to cover the whole base so that I can add some stuff. Next up we're going to take a coarse grit sand and kind of just sprinkle some on. And then we've got an ultra coarse, this is kind of just like shredded pieces of cork, and we're just going to put that on too. Just a couple of pieces to look like rocks. Then we're going to follow it up with just some regular old sand that I stole from a beach, and that'll give it the texture. Now I just want to give it a little bit of piece for a little bit of an accent. So I'm just going to clip a little piece of sprue off, and then trim it a little bit to give it some rougher edges. And then I'm going to twist it a little, just so it looks like warped metal. Now I kind of want it to look like a piece of battlefield debris or something, so I'm just going to kind of twist it up a bit so it looks all gnarled, and then just kind of glue it onto the base. Find a good spot for it. Next up, I've just primed the, uh, the whole base black, and then I'm just going to come in with some shield brown, and just apply a liberal coat. Now I just want to hit all the areas that are going to be dirt, basically. This is going to be my base coat for the dirt. So I'm just coming through, I've thinned it a little bit just to kind of help it flow. And I am just liberally applying it. I'm really not trying to be careful or anything. I'm trying to not quite paint the outside of the base since I want to keep that kind of nice. But apart from that, I'm just trying to get this paint down. So then I'm going to come through with a little bit of rainy gray and some black mixed in to make kind of a nice darker gray. And I'm going to hit those rocks. This is kind of be like my base coat for the rocks. So I'm just making sure I get the edges, I've got kind of a rougher brush, not really being super careful because, honestly, extra color that might bleed through in some places just adds more character. So now I'm giving it a dry brush with some uh, khaki. This will just help bring out kind of the coarser grit sand I put in. This will uh, give it kind of the appearance of depth, even before we put a wash on. So then I'm going to come through and I've actually just got straight rainy gray that I am just kind of mashing onto the, uh, the stones kind of making it look like a dry brush. Now I'll be working on that metal piece. So like I usually do with my silvers, I am basing in black. Uh, this, I find it just makes a better metallic paint color when doing the silver range. Now I'm coming up with a darker metallic. This is uh, gunmetal. And just putting that down, I don't want to go with my usual chainmail silver straight away because I this is in a field. It's not going to be pristine and it's not going to be nice. So I want it to be darker but still have that metallic shine to it. So just coming through, making sure I've got it all nice and well covered. And next I'll be coming through with the chainmail silver and just doing edge highlights on kind of the rougher edges. These are areas that like, kind of rough areas. You know, if this was like an old piece of metal, these are the wear points. The points where the old varnish is rubbed off and maybe rust doesn't quite accumulate because things bump into it, things, you know, jostle it and peel off some of the rust before it can grow. Now, I'm not going to be weathering this because it is just such a small piece. But I do want to just still have this effect. It, it ends up looking really nice. And it's such a minor thing, too. You just do an edge highlights. It's really easy. And the contrast between the gunmetal and the chainmail silver is very bright and very noticeable. But still not, like, painful. It's, it's subtle enough. So now I'm just taking a little bit of the chainmail silver and just kind of mashing it in to the bleaker surfaces of the gunmetal. This kind of just helps give it a little bit of a, kind of a random scratch look. Um, now I'm just taking some black and just cleaning up the edges where some of the brown and dry brushing kind of bled over. This will help kind of make it look really nice and give it that well-defined boundary. Now I'm just coming through with Igrax Earth Shade and just gonna give everything this nice brown shade. Hitting the metal piece and the dirt and kind of all of it. I just want it to kind of have a uniform set of shading, and the Agrax tends to make things look a little dirty anyway. So it's kind of like a cheap weathering for the metallic piece. Which is nice, every little bit helps. So now that that's dry, I'm going to start applying some flocking. So I've just taken a little bit of super glue, and I'm just going to smear it around with a toothpick. 
And now I'm taking some coarse turf and just, this will kind of look like small shrubs almost. And I'm just kind of mashing it in there. So this will look like it's stuff, it's been there for a while and stuff's kind of growing. Once again, now I'm applying some super glue and just mashing it around a bit. Uh, we're going to apply some coarse, or some fine turf, excuse me. And this will help give it the base some additional color. So I've got my fine turf and just, the easiest way to do this is to literally just get it over the entire base and shake it off. And if you get used to kind of tapping it off like I'm doing here, uh, when you do apply static grass, that will sometimes get it to stand up. So now I'm just going to apply some uh, tufts. These are static grass that are kind of formed in bushes. I really like them. Um, you can get them in most game stores. They really look nice. They look like little bushes. They add a lot of depth to bases. So now I've got kind of two colors. A little bit of overgrowth on one side and then a few just for flavor. And that's going to pretty much do it. I sealed the base with Tester's Dull Coat, just sprayed it on real quick so it would kind of flatten up, and it looks great, just need to stick a model on it now. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when additional painting and RPG content comes out. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen in this video, please let me know and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. And as always, until next time, happy painting.